Welcome to another edition of the Cowan Connection. In this episode, we'll focus on water hammer. What is it? What causes it? And the solutions to prevent it from happening. If you have a piping system and require a fast shutoff, this video is for you. What is water hammer? As we know, most liquids are considered non-compressible, which means that no matter how much pressure is applied to them, we cannot modify their volume. They are considered non-elastic. This characteristic is very useful in power transmission systems such as hydraulic pistons. However, left unchecked can lead to catastrophic accidents in piping systems. The phenomenon of water hammer is due to this principle. As a volume of fluid moves through a pipe, it carries momentum due to its weight. If we close a valve quickly, we are suddenly stopping the movement of this volume, creating an abrupt increase in pressure. The pressure spike causes shock waves throughout the system and resonates throughout the whole piping system. This is known as water hammer. The energy created by the sudden closure of the shutoff valve has nowhere to be dissipated or absorbed due to the non-elastic properties of the fluid. The larger the volume, the greater the pressure spike. This phenomenon can be reduced or prevented by lengthening the time in which changes to the fluid movements are made. In pipes, this is normally done by lengthening the valve's closing time to create an energy dissipation across the valve. However, at a slow constant closing speed, a significant amount of fluid passes through the valve during the valve closure. Wouldn't it be nice to close the valve quickly without having to worry about water hammer? Understanding that the main purpose of isolation or shutoff valves is to stop the flow as quickly as possible, the problem can be addressed by using a dual speed system to operate the valve. This system will allow the operator to close most of the valve stroke, example 80%, at a fast speed and then reduce the speed in the remaining 20% to ensure energy dissipation. Note optimal closing times are calculated by doing a transient analysis of the piping system. Cowan Dynamics, we specialize in valve automation. Understanding how important it is to ensure the right operational times for your valves, we've incorporated variable speed as standard in our lines. Our single and double acting hydraulic actuators can be configured with our dual speed manifold system. This option includes a mechanical selector control valve and two speed controls. Both the trigger point and speed controls are field adjustable. The manifold block is mounted to the pedestal. During the initial sequence, the speed is regulated using FC1 high speed control. When the actuator reaches the target position, in our example 80% of the valve closure, the selector control valve will be triggered and the oil will flow through FC2 slow speed control. We've also incorporated variable speed control on our line of electrohydraulic actuators. Both the set point and speeds can be programmed as well as field adjusted. This feature comes standard in both our linear and rotary versions of our electrohydraulic actuator. Contact us now to learn more.